What is going on people? My name is Tom from FBA Hustlers. Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to quickly talk about probably the most important topic about Amazon FBA and that is how to get your product onto the very first page, whether it's a brand new listing or an existing listing that hasn't reached its peak potential because it's not on the first page for a lot of keywords. So by the end of this video, you will learn a couple strategies of how to get your product onto the very first page, not only for your main keyword, but also for your all your other keywords as well. So quickly jump into this presentation. Um, I would encourage you guys to follow me on my personal Instagram account, that's tom.com dot underscore. We also have a Facebook group, um, it's AMZ Hustlers. For some reason, Facebook doesn't allow me to have FBA Hustlers for some reason, so I had to go with AMZ Hustlers. And we also have a YouTube channel um, <clears throat> called FBA Hustler. So I definitely do encourage you guys to join these social medias. So Amazon FBA private label launch and ranking strategies. Here we go. So how Amazon determines your ranking is based on your sales velocity. That's just a fancy word for saying how many sales are you generating per day based on particular keyword. Now, um, there's other type of other things that goes into the Amazon A9 algorithm, but sales velocity is definitely one of the more important ones. A lot of people ask, hey Tom, what about reviews? Well, reviews definitely help with your conversion rate, but just because you got 7,000 reviews doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be on the first page. So what happens is when you get more reviews, there's more social proof. Just like yourself, when you go on Amazon.com, let's say you wanna buy an eraser, right? So are you gonna buy an eraser that has no reviews or an eraser that has 7,000 reviews and there are good reviews? Obviously the one with 7,000. So it helps with conversion rate, then conversion rate helps with sales. So in turn, it does help with sales velocity and ranking. So according to many codes from AMPM podcast, they've done a lot of testing and what they found the sweet spot to be is they wanna do ranking for a particular keyword for eight days. So I'll explain a little bit more about this in detail uh, later on, but basically, in generally speaking, we're trying to target one specific keyword during our launch strategy, and you wanna target that keyword for eight days, even if you get onto the first page within the first couple of days. So more, a little bit more about sales velocity. Before we go into sales velocity, I do wanna show you guys how to um, determine how, how the Amazon L, um, A9 algorithm work. And this will actually help you guys to understand a little bit more about what I'm gonna be talking about. And a lot of people don't understand this, a lot of people do, but I think it's definitely necessary to go over this. So let's say, uh, let's take the product vitamin C serum, okay? This is the this is the product that we're gonna be doing some, um, this is gonna be the product that we're gonna be talking about here. So if someone types in at vitamin C serum, and then they pick, for example, um, this product, Rada Booty, right? They click on this product and they buy this listing, then this particular listing gets ranking for this keyword, which is vitamin C serum. If someone types, his, types in face serum and they find Rada Booty on the third page and they buy it, then they get ranking for face serum. But the work serum gets a little bit of ranking juice as well just because it's in it already, right? So. Now you need, so that's basically how Amazon, like how to rank for a particular keyword because right at the beginning when I started Amazon, my question um, was, well, now I did my copywriting, I have all these keywords in there, how do I get ranking for these keywords? Like how does that even, how, how does Amazon determine that? So that should answer your question is that's basically how Amazon determines um, ranking for a particular keyword. You just basically need to get people to buy through that keyword. Now. This is pretty hard, right? Like someone, if you t tell someone to buy your product on amazon.com and say, let's, her, let's say her name is Christina, say, hey Christina, can you buy my vitamin C serum please because we're trying to get a little bit more ranking. Christina has to go on amazon.com, type in vitamin C serum, find you on the 10th page or whatever, buy your product. That's really difficult, right? So there's a short way to do this and it's something called a storefront URL. So you type in vitamin C serum, you find this listing. What you wanna do is you wanna click on this listing uh, on the storefront, and then you click the storefront button right here. And then you can just basically enter in a keyword such as vitamin C serum, for example, right? 
So she has a couple of vitamin C serums. Well, she has a couple of vitamin C as well as to have the worst serum. But let's say if someone buys this listing here, this is the one we're looking at. If someone buys this listing through this URL, see this URL right here? This is called a storefront URL. If someone buys that this part, product through that storefront URL, that um, Rata Beauty will get ranking juice for a vitamin C serum as the keyword. So you can switch this to any other keyword, right? So let's say face serum is another one. So face serum, if someone buys, you know, through this URL and buys any of these products, any of these products will get ranking for this keyword face serum. So just a kind of a shortcut uh, to go about doing that. So the strategy now becomes what type of keywords do we want to target? How do we want to target them? and how many units do we need to give away per day in order to rank on Amazon. So the tool that I like to use is called Helium 10. They recently launched this tool called Cerebro and you just gotta go to helium10.com and find Cerebro. Um, I have a coupon here that'll save you $100 per month and all the tools and stuff like that, I'll link in the description so that you guys can um, save you guys just some money and they are affiliate links but you know at the end of the day i've been telling my people like i'm very transparent about these things i only promote stuff that i personally use so um i use helium 10 uh cerebro basically how this works is you just gotta copy the asin so let's take this asin here and then you want to paste your asin in here to do a reverse search and let's just give it a couple minutes here. And then it's gonna show you a bunch of columns. And what I like to do here is I like to sort by exact phrase match. That's our exact phrase uh, search volume. And what that shows me is how many people exactly per month is looking at this particular keyword on Amazon. A lot of other tools such as Market, um, Merchant Words, they way overestimate because that's not Amazon data. They use a lot of other, um, you know, Google and Bing and all that stuff. So you, sometimes, you know, it, Merchant Words, I see them way over predicting, um, estimating the search volume. So now we just work our way down the list. So let's say we want to rank for a keyword retinol cream. That's probably uh, not the best keyword. So let's go face serum, right? Because cream is, people are looking for like a cream. This is more of like a liquid, right? So let's go with face serums. That's exactly what this is. Face serum, you can see that there's 11,000 searches per month and there's a um, uh, 1,000 people doing <laughs> sponsored listings, ASIN, or PPC, uh, 18 people who have AMS doing the headline searches. Uh, we got 26,000 competing products, pretty competitive. And you, in order for you to get on the first page, you need to give away 38 units, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the number, this is the magic number per day. How many sales do you need to get through that special URL for the word face serum in order to land on the first page after eight days? So 38 times eight is 304. So what I like to do then is kind of pick the right keywords here and pick the keywords that are have you know low amount of CPR to give away, but at the same time, they have a decent search volume as well, right? As well as obviously having um, a, a keyword that is applicable to your listing. So for example, serum for face, this is a great keyword. You only need to give away 28 units per day uh, for this particular keyword and it's got 7,500 units. So we can even go something like facial serum, right? It's got still 5,000, around 5,000 searches per month and you only need to give away 20. So these are what I like to call the low hanging fruits. Um, I really don't recommend anybody unless you're like a huge seller to, and you really, really want to rank on the first page for super competitive keywords. For this example, like eye cream, you got to give away 102 uh, per day for eight days. I don't think that's sustainable for a lot of us. So I like to basically just, you know, go down the list here um, and then pick some of the low hanging fruits, you know, organic vitamin C, um, you know, eye wrinkle cream, only six units, it's nothing, right? Anti-aging skincare, anti-aging skin products, organic face cream, these are, you know, but they, but the thing is, if you're ranking the first page for like, let's say all these, excuse me, all these keywords, all, all this adds up, right? Like 2000, 2000, so that all adds up and you're on the first page for all of them. Like that's basically my strategy of ranking for uh, my products, okay? So, um, yeah, so those are kind of low hanging fruit. So you gotta pick that. now. How do you actually get people to buy through that URL? Because that's the hard part, right? So you can 
you know um oh before i go into that just to let you know when i'm ranking my products i always do aggressive pvc campaign um the suggested bids a little bit higher than most like i show up a little bit more and i have a bigger budget and i also lower my pricing about 30 to 40 percent cheaper than my top competitors just because it seems like that really helps with sales as well as amazon's algorithm really likes that so um yeah so that's what i do when i'm ranking for my products so strategy number one is using a giveaway service for people to buy your product through a special url so that you can get ranking on the first page the, there's so many out there it's on pages or it's on giveaway or whatever they're called um uh there's you know there's there's so many market hustle the one that i've used before is called viral launch um that's probably you know i haven't used any other ones but i have absolutely zero bad things to say about viral launch everything about the company is so great um in terms of service and it really really works like my i got my product onto the first page i was actually top three and i stuck top three for a little while as well um you, again you can save 50 dollars coupon in the link in description below um, so that way, you know, if you want to try their service, you can save a little bit of money. Basically what it is, is that they are a huge mailing list of a uh, daily shoppers, right? So every single morning you can subscribe to their customer ending facing, um, deal site and you get an email and every morning, you know, it tells you, Oh, this product is on for 99% off, 99% off. You can pick any product you want. And if you buy that product, you buy through the special URL that we just talked about. So the um the amazon seller gets ranking for that particular keyword so they distribute single use coupons for seven days and it's very hands off you just pay them watch yourself rank it's very very hands off um however the now that's the pros i uh, you also actually get some reviews as well um i don't think they'll be verified just because you're you have to give away 99 percent off so they'll be on verified reviews but you will get some now this is not a review service so please don't say oh like can i get reviews blah blah like yeah you can not very many but you know uh just something for you guys to know uh now the con is it is expensive i'll talk about that in the next slide uh you have to give your way product for basically free 90 to 99 percent off you don't get any email addresses of the customers they're all viral launches customers and amazon's customers so you don't get any of that and you don't really building any equity outside of that particular launch such as your email address so with the 50 dollars coupon you save a 50 bucks obviously and the setup fee will be 350 um now let's say for example you're selling whatever and your cost of goods sold is five dollars you need to give away 400 units to land on the first page for one specific keyword so that's two thousand dollars and then amazon takes five dollars fee up to 400 units that's another two thousand so if you add all this up together your launch will actually cost forty three hundred fifty dollars so that's quite a bit of money so the second way that i want to talk about so that's kind of the con of um you know these giveaway services is it's actually caught it's going to cost you quite a bit of money to rank on the first page now the second thing i want to talk about is actually facebook ads right so with facebook ads um jeff bezos loves facebook ads because you are bringing amazon more customers through facebook right so i've had experience with facebook before where i was very very shocked but i went from page five for one particular keyword to top three with very very low sales and it was a very competitive keyword and I really believe that is because I was sending Facebook traffic. Now, there's two ways to do Facebook ads, actually three ways. Um, two of them are right, one of them is definitely wrong. The wrong way is to send traffic from Facebook straight to your Amazon listing. You're not warming the, the audience up. It's like going to a car dealership and the customer service representative says, hey, you, you wanna buy this car? Like you need to talk about the features and stuff like that, right? So you need to warm up the lead. So that's kind of where the landing page comes in, right? So what we do is for Facebook ads, we always have a video in a form of a video. It's a lot more engaging um, video content. is going to be huge going forward. It's already huge, um, but it catches your attention a lot better than just a photo. And we direct that if someone clicks on that Facebook ad because they're interested, they go to a landing page. The landing page will have two pages. Number one is basically collecting the email address in exchange for a 75% off coupon. What we did, what we found through doing many different Facebook ad campaigns is 75% off is a really, really good, um, you know, threshold because it's quite an irresistible offer. Um, anything, you know, below that, like 50% off or above that 50% off or whatever. Um, yeah, people tend to just not be, find that very, you know, attractive. 75% off definitely does the job. So right away, you can notice that instead of giving 99% off using a giveaway service, it's only 75% off. So you save a little bit of money there when it comes to cost of goods sold. 
And when they give you your email address, the next page will be like, hey, here's the, here's the coupon code. Uh, you can click on this URL to go to our Amazon link to buy it on Amazon. And that URL is a special URL that I talked about. And you can also set up email sequences using MailChimp or whatever, Aweber, and then send them more emails right after as well. So yeah, so um, you use the storefront URL to get ranking one for one specific keyword. Second way of doing Facebook ads is basically the same thing, except you use ManyChat. I'm sure you guys seen some messengers and these messenger bots are like, hey, like it's, it's a bot talking, but it's in a, uh, you know, in a messenger. So it's a lot more personal. The open rates are anywhere between, based on our numbers, 90 to 100%. Um, actually never hundred percent, but like 80 to 95, like very, very high nineties percent. Um, that's kind of our range and the open rates gets about, you know, it was like 50, 60% open rate just because with messenger is very kind of like out there. It's very intrusive, right? So people have to, you know, like when someone messages you, uh, you, you gotta take a look. So the open rates is quite high compared to email, which is like five, 10% and you're like doing really, really well. So. Uh, and then, you know, we, we set up an entire sequence, talk to them, give them the storefront URL, collect their email address as well in the many chat. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the second way of doing that. So the pros of doing Facebook ads, well, you collect the email address for future launches promotion. So that's super, super important. The, the money is in the list, guys. If you ask any email marketing or online marketing, you know, gurus or whatever, th definitely email address is super important to collect, right? <clears throat> because you own the customer. So you, now you can send them a promotion in Christmas, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever, and that doesn't cost you a penny. Those are your customers. So long-term speaking, this is very, very beneficial. Um, we also have multiple keywords. So what I said earlier is, let's say you're ranked on the first page for face serum, and then, and then after eight days you wanna rank for vitamin C serum. You just gotta switch the URL at the very end. That's all it takes. You can also launch multiple products. So what we do in the sequence is, let's say if someone buys a ser face serum, but we also have like, I don't know, like another product that is skincare related, then an hour later, we'll send them the other product as well. Be like, hey, by the way, you can get this for 75% off through this link. And then we're ranking for the second product through a special URL as well. It's long-term and sustainable, guys. I mean, this is basically how big companies do their advertising, people who don't sell on Amazon, Facebook ads, Google ads, all that stuff. So it's definitely here to stay, right? And now with Viral Launch, who knows what Amazon can do? Maybe they think it's manip manipulating the algorithm. So maybe one day they're like, hey, Viral Launch, you can't do this anymore. So um, Facebook is sustainable. You're building a real you know, e-commerce brand and you're building a real audience as well. Now, con is it's not as simple as it looks. So. It's extremely, extremely difficult with Facebook ads, what I find, and it takes a lot of time to perfect it, but once you do, it's such a useful skill. Um, and it, a lot of testing is required. A lot of testing is required. Um, what we do with testing usually is we put, you know, $10 a day for three ad sets. Sometimes if you wanna go aggressive, $10 a day for six ad sets. An ad set is basically just a different target market. So for example, vitamin C serum. I could be targeting women from the ages of 25 to 35. That's asset number one. Asset number two is 35 to 45. Each of them, we have you know, different things like people who likes Amazon, people who likes these beauty brands, people who likes health care products, etc. And um, yeah, like I said, it's 75% off instead of 99% off. And for ClickFunnels, you're looking at about $100 per month to set up the landing page. That's what I use. Or ManyChat is the email sequence. I think it's about $20 per month or $10 per month. And I include those coupon codes. You can get two weeks free for ClickFunnels through my, um, through my link as well. And that's what I use for all my landing page stuff. Okay, so now you know how to get yourself on the first page, right? But before you launch, this is probably the second most important, is you must have a perfect listing. So what I mean by that is this. You must have nine beautiful images. You must have an engaging sales copy. You must have at least 10 reviews. I found that really, really helpful. You must have PPC that's ready to go and lower your pricing on Amazon. So the biggest mistake that I see people saying, oh, I wanna begin it on the first page. Yeah, everybody wants to get on the first page, but the problem is how can you stay on the first page, right? If you get on the first page, you have one image, you have no copywriting, you're just gonna fall off the first page and you just wasted all that money. So be patient, work on your on work on your on-site optimization first in terms of the nine images, nine images and sales copy, then do a launch. That is the correct way. Not do a launch and then work on your images. You, you're literally dumping money into your fireplace. Like do not do that. So we can help with um, your nine images. One of the biggest struggles for myself 
is uh, the fact that um, <clears throat> you know when I started my journey, like I just sold on, I, I just found people on Fiverr and Upworks, and they were all crap. Like I never had a good experience with any of them. They were just yes, it was cheap, but you know what? Like their the level of skills that they have is very very um, not up to my standards, to say the least. So that's why we created an agency called Digital Movement. And it's, um, it's, this is my graphic designer, the art director, his name is Russell, that's myself, and that's Jaden. Jaden does the Facebook ads for us. And we're all local, right? We're all in Vancouver, BC, Canada here. And Russell had you know crazy experience. Um, he went to a prestigious music and art school and he understands a little bit more about the graphic design side of things than your average graphic designer. Um, I'm not even going to, you know, I'm just going to let his work speak for themselves. Um, you know, he can turn like a boring image like this into something like that. Um, you know, we use a lot of these like text in the image to actually sell the product instead of just like a boring image. Um, you know, this is another perfect example from a boring product into something that's so, you know, so it looks so good. Right. And it's got like really good copywriting. Um, something like this, you know, this is all done by him, um, boring product and he can turn it into something like that. So, and yeah, so this is another great example, yoga mats turn into something like that and with power statements and feature and benefits and stuff like that on the image. So we've had people literally increasing their conversion rate by 10%. Um, after getting the images done, it's actually the admin, um, is uh, his name is Delton, and he is the one of the moderators for the Amazon FBA Reddit subreddit group. So he's definitely legit, and uh, his increase, his he was so happy with our with our work. So, um, yeah, with sales copywriting, same thing. Hit me up, hello at digitalmovement.com, and I can definitely help you with that. So, um. Russell is a one-man show, so we do have limited availability. He can only work with a handful of clients per time until the next one. So if you guys are interested in improving your conversion rate, definitely contact Russell and he can help you out. And people say, oh, you're expensive. Yeah, we are expensive. We are not cheap. If you want cheap, go on Fiverr. Um, that is, you know, we are not here to compete with Fiverr. We're here to basically increase your conversion rate. Um, at the end of the day, if your conversion rate from, for example, this guy, nine to 20%, that's 10 extra sales per hundred visits to his listing. Don't you think that can be definitely worth it in the long run? Absolutely. Copywriting, send me an email at hello at digitalmovement.com. And I'm happy to refer you to someone who's very, very good at what they do. Um, so yeah, just write me an email and reviews. So you can, you can build your own mailing list and through Facebook ads. Um, you know, you can do it from family and friends. There's review groups. There's a lot of underground admins that can actually do reviews for you. Just be very careful because it's against terms of service for any sort of incentivized reviews. But um, I do think it's very important for you to get some right off the bat. And it's, I mean, like if it's a friend that never been to your house, connect to your Wi-Fi, and they just buy your product and leave you a review. Like I, I don't see how Amazon can catch you that way. But um, yeah, uh, use this at your own discretion because it is against uh, TOS. Now, if you're interested in Facebook ads and wanna rank for multiple products and multiple keywords on the first page and set up an entire funnel, collect real email addresses, do some email marketing, the whole package, um, I would recommend emailing Jaden at digitalmovement.com. Uh, he only has two spots available right now. He can only take on two more clients. And Christmas is actually not the best time to do Facebook ads just because everything is very expensive when it comes to ad spend. So uh, if you're interested in killing it in 2018, we can definitely help you with that. Shoot him an email or you can email me at hello at digitalmovement.com. So yeah, I, I mean, that's the conclusion, guys. I, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys can share it with some other people. Um, you can always contact me and say hello at hello at digitalmovement.com. Make sure you join our Facebook group, FBA Hustlers. Our YouTube channel is also called FBA Hustlers. Our IG is, um, I need to change that to tom.com. And one last thing I wanna say is never give up, guys. Um, I know how difficult this journey is because I'm an Amazon seller myself. When I first started, one of my first product is vitamin C serum. So with vitamin C serum, you guys know how competitive that product is. It's notoriously known to be competitive on Amazon. So um, I just have to keep learning. I networked, I met some really smart people and that's kind of how, you know, that's where I am today. If I had given up 
after the first couple months on Amazon because vitamin C serum was extremely difficult to sell, you know, I wouldn't be where, you know, I am today. But, you know, I'm not successful in any means. Like, I still learn a lot every single day. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share some of the knowledge I've learned throughout my journey with you guys. I think this is very, very important. Not a lot of people talk about this, the correct way of launching a product. Most people just say, oh, giveaway service and uh, aggressive PPC. You know, it's not bad, but now with Facebook ads, there's definitely better ways and you can rank on the first page for these super, super competitive keywords and you can rank on the first page for multiple keywords. And what that means for you at the end of the day, guys, what it means for us is if you're on the first page, you're gonna crush it and you're gonna have sales. So again, thank you very much for you guys' time. Um, I'm, st I'm still a little bit tired. I'm still adjusting to time lag, uh, jet lag. I was in China, in Shenzhen, visiting some manufacturers. Um, so I'm still adjusting to, to jet lag, but I really want to shoot this video for you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. If you guys have any questions, you know, drop me a comment down below. I'd love to engage with you guys. And if you guys have any questions about Facebook ads, just drop me a comment below and definitely answer those for you. Otherwise, that's it.